Welcome back to my channel, Matin Language, and we're going to discuss how to add mixed numbers to proper fraction. So, before we start, so what are mixed numbers? So, mixed numbers are composed of a whole number in a proper fraction, like this. And again, for a proper fraction, the numerator is always less than the denominator. If in case that the numerator is equal or greater than the denominator, then that will be an improper improper fraction. So let's start. How are we going to add the mixed number to proper fraction? All you have to do is you have to change the mixed number. There are two methods I'll show you, but I'll show you the first one. You have to change first the mixed number. To improper fraction so that will be 5 times 3 15 plus 1 that will be 16 over 5 next one of course you add 2 thirds here copy copy it now let's apply the butterfly method 16 times 3 that will be 48 2 times 5 that will be 10 and lastly we have 5 times 3 that will be 15 and the final answer will be 58 over 15. You have to check if it's the lowest term. Yes, because we don't have uh, GCF. So this is already the lowest term. But again, some of your teachers or instructors will ask you to convert the improper fraction to mixed number. Again, it depends on your teacher. So let's change this one. 58 over 15. How many 15 are there in 58? That will be 3. 3 times 15, that will be 45, and remainder 13, sorry, 13 here, remainder 13. So again, in this one, the, the quotient, that will be the whole number. The remainder, that will be the numerator. You just change the color, 13 here, and the divisor, that will be the denominator. So this is already the final answer 3 and 13 over 15. but what is the other method i'll show you i'll just copy paste this one what is the other method let me just remove this one also the other method in adding mixed number to a proper fraction you have to ignore the whole number first so we have one fifth plus two thirds so you add them 1 times 3, that will be 3. 2 times 5, that will be 10. And 5 times 3, that will be 15. And you're left with 13 over 15. What are we going to do with the whole number 3 here? We copy paste it. As is. And let's check. Yeah, we have the same answer, right? So it's up to you if we're going to use the first method, like changing it changing the mixed number to an improper fraction or you can just ignore it first and add the two fractions then you put the whole number again now let's have another example what if we have this one 2 and 1 7 plus 3 4 so for this one i'll do the first method so i'll change it to improper fraction first 7 times 2 that will be 14 plus 1 that will be 15 over 7. So plus 3, 4. Let's apply the butterfly method. 15 times 4. That will be 60. Okay. I almost forgot my math. 3 times 7. That will be 21. And 7 times 4. That will be 28. And you have 81 over 28. And that's already the final answer. But again, uh, as I have said a while ago, your instructor or teacher will ask you to to finalize your answer in a mixed number if, in case you have an improper fraction. So that will be 81 over 28. So how many 28s are there in 81? 28 times 3 is... So that's 2. 56. So we have this one is 11 minus 6, 5, 7, 25. Okay. Remainder 25. And 
the whole the quotient will be the whole number the remainder that will be the numerator and the divisor here the divisor here that will be the denominator and check if they could can still uh, put it into lowest term i don't think so they don't have a gcf so this is already the final answer 2 and 25 over 28 yeah all right now let's have the let's use the other method let me copy paste this one so let me also remove this one also now if we're going to do the other method we're going to ignore the whole number so we're left with this let's apply the butterfly method so one times four that will be four three times seven that will be uh 21 and 7 times 4 that will be 28 let's answer 25 over 28 and you copy the whole number it's easy right it's faster and again it depends on your preference yeah we have the same answer 2 and 25 over 28 and 2 of 2 and 25 over 28 so let's have the last example so this will be a little bit difficult so we have 5, 8 over 9, 5, and sorry, let me just write this one, 5 and 8 nines plus 7, 8. So we're going to do the first one. We're going to transform the next number to improper fraction. So that will be 9 times 5 plus 8. 5 times 9, that will be 45 plus 8, that will be 53 over 9. Plus seven eight. So for this one, uh, let's do the butterfly method. Fifty three times eight. That will be four hundred twenty four. I just say use the calculator so it will be faster. Seven times nine. That will be sixty three. And nine times eight. That will be seventy two. And we have air. 487 over 72 and we don't have this is already the lowest term you cannot reduce it further but again some your instructor will ask you oh you have to change that to a mixed number okay we'll change it so 487 divided by 70 how many 70s are there in 47 so 6 thank you calculator 6 times 72. Okay, let's. This is one. 432. Will be 5. 5 also. Remainder 55. So we have here 6 and 55 over 72. You don't have. This is already the lowest term because 55 and 72, they don't have a GCF. Now let's apply the last method. Sorry, the second method. So I'll just copy paste this one. And let me just remove. Need a smaller eraser. Okay, so we're going to ignore the whole number here and we're just going to focus on the fractions. That will be 8 times 8, that will be 64. 7 times 9, that will be 63. And 9 times 8, that will be 70. So 64 plus 63, that will be 127 over 72. And you put the whole number back. Are we done? No, not by a long shot. We cannot have a mixed number with an improper fraction this is an improper fraction and you have a mixed number here it's not acceptable you have to change this improper fraction to a mixed number first so let's change it 127 divided by 72 that will be 1 times 72 5 and this is all also 5 one remainder 55 
five. Yeah. So for this one, the answer will be one and five over seven. Are we done? No, not yet, because we have a five here. It's hanging. We have to add it back here. So five plus one over fifty-five over seventy-five. Just add the whole number. So we will arrive with the answer six and fifty-five over seven. Yeah, we have the same answer here. Six and fifty-five over seven. And that's the end of the lesson on how to add mixed numbers to proper fraction. If you have questions or in need of clarification, suggestions, please comment down and I'll try my best. I'll do my best to answer it as soon as possible. And again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification so you will be updated on my future videos about math and language. Would really appreciate it. I will on I'm on my way on my 10K. Uh, 10K subscriber milestone. Thank you very much for um watching i'll see you again on the next video bye